I'm Susie with Splore. Now that we know how the paddle wheel works and how to set it up to the canoe, and now that we also know a little bit more about our adaptive seating systems, let's talk a little bit about how both of these systems will work together. My friend Breland here is, will demonstrate how the paddle wheel works. We can't necessarily turn it right here since we're on concrete, but um, you'll you get the general idea from the previous clips. But some things to keep in mind is Breland can easily reach out right here and grab the paddle wheel. Um, he's, his back is still fairly straight, but the important thing to keep in mind when setting the system up for somebody with a disability is you don't have to set it up and go. We're not in a big hurry to get anything done. We want to take the time to make everybody as comfortable as possible, which might mean, you know, if Breland, if he feels like maybe his back's a little strained from leaning over, we can pull the paddle wheel back and make it a little bit more comfortable for him. Just readjust it there. Or if Breland, let's just say he has a disability that affects his balance right now, but he can still bend his legs. Sometimes you might have a participant that has a spinal cord injury and can't bend their legs. And so Breland's legs would be straight, which might also cause for different ways that we'd have to readjust the paddle. So the thing to keep in mind when setting this up is just be patient and be innovative and make sure everybody's safe and comfortable. Um, we have a saying around here that if you're not being safe, you're not having fun. So always think safety first.